Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so we got some new stuff incoming, um, a couple of leaks that went out, um, and I believe there's probably going to be some more stuff. Uh, guys, make sure you guys follow the 7 Deadly Sins Reddit, uh, Gr Grand Cross Reddit, uh, just so that way you can keep up with any uh, news and stuff that's coming to the game, um, because on the Reddit here, shout out to uh, my boy Mesta Muhammad here, hopefully I'm not butchering, butchering your name. Um, but yeah, so he's got the leaks that are coming out, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says it's going to be released August 14th, so two days, um, so that's not too bad. Alright, so we got Final Boss King, um, we already knew this was coming, we just didn't know exactly when, so it looks like he's going to be a raid boss, um, yep, so it's going to pop up just like this, you're going to be able to go in and pretty much fight him. Um, so that should be hella fun. I, I cannot wait for this mission, guys. Um, I'm not a huge King fan. I, I like Meliodas way more, and here's a tweet out about stuff like this. Uh, they keep showing Escanor on the side there, so that's, uh, you know, the hint at Escanor is pretty nice. Um, and this tells you a little bit of the backstories. Uh, there will be three difficulties. The first difficulty, Hard, will be released on August 14th. The second, Extreme and Hell, will be released on August 21st. Now, so do note that there's no normal mode, guys. This is just going to be straight up hard and then into extreme and hell. Uh, new anvil items is scheduled to release with the new stage, which obtained using silver point from new stage. You can use this item to reroll substats of equipment without using gold slash gems. Different equipment grade require different amounts of anvils. Now, I'm hoping this is a permanent thing, and I'm hoping there's a way that you can be grinding this out throughout the game because this sounds freaking amazing. Um, pretty much what it means, guys. Let me show you an example here. Uh, let's go into my character. Uh, we'll go into Milam. Go into Milam here. She'll be 70 today. Can't wait. Super hyped for that. Um, go into this. So, like, for instance, I got her on these stats right here. Um, and say I want to re-roll these stats. Um... Yeah, it's it's pretty much impossible, right? Because to reroll the stats, you you would have to use gold, right? And that adds up. And if you have some really good stats, you know, you might not want to use the gold to reroll these stats, right? Now, luckily, if you've been following everybody's guides on YouTube and stuff like that, on the right side here, you know, it's not too bad. You know, getting <laughs> uh, changing the stats are not too bad here. You know, you can easily, you know do these things and it's not too bad on the price now once you get into the higher stages and you start you know leveling up your SSR equipment on the left side here you know and you start changing these over now that's two gems now two gems doesn't sound like a lot but <laughs> trust me guys you know if I reroll this stat right now for two gems and it ends up being uh, two same stat here but ends up being like 2.2 percent that's two gems gone wasted right um, so yeah, it's it's a risk and reward. So they allowing us to grind out uh, an item called these anvils here. You know that sounds fantastic to me. I can I cannot wait for that actually because that just means you know I'm not gonna have to use gems and I can keep going on my SSR equipment. Um, and other than that, let's see. So got a picture here. So that's how it's gonna look. All right, and last but not least in this update, you can use gold point obtained from new stage to exchange for King Super Boss costume. And then it gives a warning pretty much saying that, hey, this is a limited, not limited time, but you have a certain amount of time to do it. Um, it's going to be like a season. Once it's done, um, he's not going to come back for quite a while. So you might have to wait for uh, King Super Boss Battle to come back in order to get that costume. So it's just telling you guys, make sure you farm everything that you possibly can right now pretty much sit in that farm stage and just grind it out get everything possible guys um that king costume which one was it number two no number three that king costume looks fantastic i think that looks so badass and i'm I, like i said i personally don't use king that much but uh, i'm definitely going to be grinding for that um so that's pretty much it for the update now on my personal thoughts right um, there's nothing new yet, 
I think we're going to get a new banner. Um, I'm not 100% certain on that, but there's been a lot of Elaine leaks. Um, I know a lot of people have been uh, seeing a lot of leaks with Elaine. So I'm thinking we might get a brand new banner. Now, it's not 100% certain here, and I could be completely off here because the reason why I might be off is because this banner doesn't end till the 21st. So we might not get a banner till the 21st, right? But we're hoping, fingers crossed, you know, they hook us up with a new banner. And there has been word on Elaine. Um, they already got her skills, her moveset and stuff. And I can tell you she's very, very, very good. She's going to be a very good unit to have. 100%. Um, I might get an SSR here. There's screens in the back there. Um, so, yeah. Will I be pulling for her? I'm not too sure. I might throw, I might throw a couple multis. But, you know, I'm not too sure yet. You know, your boy, you know, the boy Escanor. Oh, do we get Freeze here? That's a first. Alright, so that was the very first time ever that the game has crashed on blue stacks. That's super weird. Uh, so I got a coin shop, uh, not coin shop bond. I got a dupe uh, SR bond. That's just A-OK, -okay, no big deal. So like I was saying, guys, pretty much, um, yeah, I, I think there might be a new banner. Um, I'm not 100% certain. They are bringing a lot of hype stuff, though, and I really do hope um, there is a new banner. But if not, if there is not a new banner... Uh, that's a okay. We still got what till the 21st for this banner to stick around um, And if you guys have not pulled uh, Rimuru, Milam, or um, Binimaru, yeah, they're really good characters Very 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 good characters and do not uh, Look down on them and say all oh, these characters are garbage. I literally use Milam everywhere now um, And I know a lot of people say she's only PvP oriented um, I think people are wrong about that. Uh, I use her everywhere. Um, PvP, PvE, um, all that stuff. So I think she is definitely worth the investment. Um, I think you're going to get more bang from your buck with Rimuru though. So if you had to choose to go after one of them, 100% go after Rimuru. Just because he is like a green Meliodas. So he can get you very, very, very far in the story. Um, but... Like I said, I use Milam way more, so that's just my personal thing. But I hope you guys are ready for the update. August 14th, uh, so we got two more days from the time of recording this video. And uh, hopefully, we get some fire and get some stuff here. Notice the fireworks. The fireworks are crashing my game. Anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hoodie up. Get shit done. Peace out.